Hey guys, welcome back to Thoughtworks 5 SEs. So in this video, we are gonna see about 5 S crash analytics and uh, app distribution. So without any delay, let's get started. App crashes is the most annoying thing to the user. So it's always good to monitor those crashes in a uh, real time. So then only you will be uh, like uh, able to fix those crashes ASAP. So there the crash analytics plays a major role. So by using the 5 S crash analytics. We can easily able to monitor the real time crashes and uh, with uh, all type of information uh, about the user devices or what type of the errors and uh, fatal errors, non fatal errors, and uh, what the device they are using, uh, what the operating system they are using it. And we can monitor all those information by using the Firebase Crash Analytics. So now let's see how to implement this in our Flutter. And initially add the Firebase Crash Analytics plugin inside your PubSpec.yaml. So after you have added it, um, go to the app level build.gradle. So make sure that you have included this apply plugin in the Crash Analytics uh, as well as the Firebase Analytics. And don't forget to uh, like uh, add the Firebase SDK configuration. So I have already done that video, so if you want, I will add it as a card. So go and check it out. And uh, after that, uh, inside the project level, build out Cradle, and uh, make sure that you have added the class path or uh, crash analytics. And uh, after that, and inside the main function, make sure that you have initialized the Firebase app. And after that, uh, we'll be creating the Firebase crash analytics instance here to record the flutter error so it will be recording all the non fatal errors which is happening in our application at a real time so it will be captured and send it sent to our firebase console and after that i will be like uh, enabling the collection enable to so then only it will be uh, like uh, start to collect the crashes from our app and uh, after that and inside the my home page and uh, in that uh, init state, I have added the instance to like uh, in the by using the Firebase crash analytics, you can also the set the uh, crashes with along with the user identifier. So which user is having the certain type of crashes, and you can also filter by uh, like uh, by user identify. So it's a cool one. You can use it. So you have to use the set user identifier uh, before the Firebase crash analytics instance. So you have to pass the user id so you can pass it uh, anything you want and after that and by using the firebase crash analytics uh, instant crash method so you can uh, like test the crash method uh, so it will be crashing uh, instantly for testing purpose we will be using that and we'll see the output now so here i'm running the app in uh, android emulator now so it's opening so we have defined the crash function inside the init state. Uh, it will be crashed as soon as it gets started. Yeah. So it got crashed. So this is the uh, sample test crash which is provided by our Firebase Crash Index plugin. So now we'll see how the how it looks in our crash index. So here you can see the all the crash index gives us uh, stats as a graph. And uh, you can also like uh, let's refresh this. So inside this uh, particular crash, you can check the stack trace, which is uh, like uh, what what exactly the crash was occurred. You can check it out. The detailed information it will be loud here, and uh, you can also see the data of the particular users like. What the brand, what the device brand they are using, what the model is like, uh, like uh, at the time of the crash is happening, uh, how much the RAM is free in the mobile, and uh, how much the disk is free, and the operating system, and the crash reported date, and the time with the with our app version, which version that this crash is occurred, and uh, since we have given the user ID the face, so the 52 the ID is stored here, so you can also. Uh, like uh, particularly check the uh, those users what type of crashes they are using they are having like uh, or uh, in our app and uh, 
you can also see the stats here like uh, which uh, which brand is like uh, having most of the crashes is occurred in their uh, in their devices so it will be shown here and you can also see the logs here some particular logs it will be giving us the which activities uh, like uh, got crashed and, and, and all so this is how we can monitor those real time crashes in our uh, flutter with, by using the firebase crash analytics and now we'll see about the app distribution service in uh, our firebase an app distribution is used to like distributing our apk or aab file uh, among the testers or certain groups that we want to uh, like uh, to test the uh, to test the app in the real devices like uh, before we are going to our production so we can use this service and uh, here uh, it is very simple to use it so initially you have to add the testers here like here i have added a already one tester here and you can also add the n number of testers here and you can also like uh, create a group and you can add, add the first certain tester in the particular group that you want to like uh, share the apk with separate groups so for that you can use this and uh, inside the invite links you can also send the invite link to like uh, get the access of our uh, application so before we going to our production so here i have already one released our uh, my application here so now we'll see how to like uh, upload this in our uh, app distribution so i will just click the browse icon so i'll be just selecting the apk it will be uh, like uh, started to uploading the our apk here so yeah it's i'll uh, editing our uploading a uh, app So yeah, it got uploaded. So this is how you can upload your uh, APK into our like uh, by using the app distribution among those testers which we have defined here. So they can will be they will be notified via Gmail to like uh, this version is like is newly available. So if you want, you can download it and you can test the app and uh, let the developers know whether the this is good to move to our production or not. so this is how the app distribution is works so this is like uh, uh, one of the main uh, like uh, usual thing which is provided by our firebase service so that's all for the today's video guys we'll see you in next video stay tuned bye